Where do you go when you're alone and in your head? Two good friends of mine were kind enough to think of me when it came time to consider a producer for Adina, who I consider to be one of the greatest singers in the world. There's this wonderful environment in his other studio where we actually write the music. It's called The High Window. It's all white. It's really zen. And um, just come up with ideas, and then he starts tracking stuff and makes me go in the other room and just start writing lyrics. And even if I don't have them all, you know, we just says get in there and put the verse down on the mic and see what happens. And Lovely vocal. Oh, thank you. That was on fire. Sometimes it makes me do kind of like gibberish on the microphone, just kind of what's coming, and then, and then, and then, and then we kind of just, we go. Oh, he goes. It sounds like you said the sun and the moon and the blah 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 blah, and, and I didn't say that at all. But then I go, okay, well, I'll write that. It's like he's like my translator of the gibberish. She has a very powerful and articulate voice uh, as a writer, and this, this was so abundantly clear to me that once we had the germ of an idea in that unconscious state, then we could kind of wake up and go, God, we have something here that's really, really worth developing. It sounds amazing. All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I want to hear what happens next. Can we keep going? Yes. It's just been this wonderful experience for me, um, and it turns out that a lot of the songs on the album will be um, songs that I have co-written with Glenn. Sort of starting with that, and then mm. breaking out of it. You and know it what goes I mean? with them. They play. I'm really excited about sharing this music with the universe out there that may not know exactly who she is, but will soon hear a voice that they won't forget.